You can get the cards you need for today's Budget Magic deck and support the show from this episode's sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. So this week, we are heading to Modern to play another Modern Horizon influence deck, and this one is pretty sweet. This is Mono White Persist Combo, basically one of the least likely combo colors, I would say. Mono White Combo Deck, infinite in a bunch of different ways in the Modern format, and I'm actually really excited for this deck. Thanks to Modern Horizons, all of a sudden we have a ton of redundancy with all of our key combo pieces in a Mono White Shell, and uh, hopefully that means we just draw our pieces, put everything everything together and win the game. So as you can see, 108 bucks in paper, 24 ticks on Magic Online, although that price tag is a bit deceiving. Uh with our normal deck decks, basic lands are free, but we're playing snow-covered basics, so we can play on thin ice, because it's actually cheaper to play snow-covered basics and on thin ice and path to exile, uh, so that is why the price is a little higher than normal, is the lands are actually counting towards the price this time, when normally they don't. So anyway, a quick reminder before we break down mono-white persist combo for modern, if you enjoy this deck, and you enjoy budget magic in general, it would be so sweet of you. If you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Mono White Persist Combo, and this is a pretty unique combo deck because since we're in Mono White, we don't really have card filtering or card draw. So the idea of this deck is we need three different combo pieces, but we have a bunch of redundancy with each of them. So rather than tutoring up combo pieces, drawing a bunch of cards, we are just brute forcing our way into this combo. So combo piece number one is we need a persist creature. Uh, persist, if you're not familiar with it, when the creature dies, it comes back into play with a negative one, negative one counter on it. If it didn't already have a negative one, negative one counter on it. So for this, along with say full delete and kitchen, Finks, we get a new addition in Lesser Manticore, which Lesser Manticore is a pretty sweet. It does make us discard a card, but really we don't care. This is a combo piece. We're not playing these cards fairly. So step one of our combo, get a Persist creature. And with 12 of them, we're very likely to have one in our opening hand. Uh, actually probably have two in a lot of opening hands because 12 is a lot. So step one, Persist creature. Step two is we need a way for our Persist creature to go infinite. So remember, when a Persist this creature dies, it comes back into play with a negative one, negative one counter if it didn't already have a counter. So we are trying to make it so when a persist creature dies, it just keeps coming back into play again and again and again. For this, we have two different pieces. First off, Anaphensa Kindry Spirit. Secondly, Solemnity. So Solemnity is pretty straightforward. Uh, things can't get counters, which means when our persist creature dies, it comes back into play without a counter, which means if it dies again, it comes back into play as many times as we want it to. Anaphensa is a little bit weirder, but basically, when a non-token creature comes into play under our control, we bolster one, which means we put a plus one, plus one counter on the creature we control with the lowest toughness. So, uh, since all of our persist creatures are going to be low toughness, one toughness when they come back into play with the counter, uh, we get to put a plus one, plus one counter on them, and in magic, uh, you can't have plus one, plus one counters and negative one, negative one counters. So, they basically just counteract each other, so rather than a negative one, negative one counter, and a plus one, plus one counter, counter. We just have no counter. So either one of these cards essentially does the same thing with our combo, making it so our persist creatures can keep dying. So step one, persist. Step two, a way to make our persist creatures infinite. Step three, we need a sack outlet that can win us the game. So for this, again, we have two different options, which again means we're likely to have all of our combo pieces in our opening hand. Even though we're mono white, we don't have the ability to really cycle through our deck or tutor through our deck. So one is Alter of Dimension. You probably see where this is going. You can sack a creature to mill someone equal to the creature's power. Blasting Station also works. You sack a creature, deal one damage, and then when a creature comes into play, you get to untap Blasting Station. So, if we can find a Persist creature, along with Solemnity or Anafenza, along with Altar of Dementia or Blasting Station, we go infinite and win the game. The basic combo, and this is just an example, again, like, safe holdily, it could be Lesser Mastercore, it could be a Kitchen Fix. Solemnity could be Anafenza, so we have a lot 
lot of interchangeable pieces that make the combo work. But basically, let's say we have Safe Hold Elite, we have Solemnity, and we have, let's say, Altar of Dementia. We sack our Safe Hold Elite, mill our opponent for two, Safe Hold Elite dies, comes back into play, it doesn't have a counter thanks to Solemnity, so we just sack it again, mill our opponent for two. It dies, comes back into play, no counter, Solemnity, we mill again with Altar of Dementia, dies, comes back into play, sack it to Altar of Dementia. We do that until our opponent's library is completely empty. We just mill them out of the game, infinite mill, game over. If it's Kitchen Finks instead of Safe Hold Elite, we actually gain infinite life along the way, but that's not super relevant because we're killing our opponent anyway. If our opponent has an Emrakul or something and we can't mill them out, we can still gain infinite life with Kitchen Finks or Blasting Station. Same thing. We sack Safe Hold Elite, deal one damage to our opponent. Safe Hold Elite dies, comes back into play, no counter thanks to Solemnity or Anafenza. Then that will untap the Blasting Station because it's a creature coming into play. So we sack Safe Hold Elite again, another damage, etc, etc, etc. So that's the deck. That is basically 100% what our deck is doing, trying to draw those three combo pieces, and since we have so much redundancy with each of them, it actually happens very consistently. When you have eight copies of an effect in your deck, odds are pretty heavily in favor of you having it in your opening seven. We have 12 persist creatures, so odds are very in favor of that, so the odds are actually pretty good that we're going to have all of our combo pieces, and... If things go well, we just win the game on turn four. Like, we are a turn four kill deck. Turn two, safe hold elite. Turn three, solemnity. Turn four, sack outlet, win the game. Or, for example, we could go the other direction. Turn two, we could play Anafenza for our solemnity piece. Turn three, kitchen fakes. Turn four, alter dimension blasting station, win the game. So there's a bunch of combinations of winning the game there. Otherwise, Thraben Inspector... Just kind of a filler one drop gives us something to do immediately. It does let us draw a card, which is nice because we do want to find our combo pieces. Face shield kind of sweet because it protects all of our permanents. Target permanent we control gains protection from a color of our choice. Uh, does it to us and all permanents so for five or less life? That's not really that relevant. But this is a one mana spell that can protect our creatures. Can also protect like our solemnity and enchantment. Also protect our artifacts like blasting station. So for one mana, it can save anything that our opponent's going to try to kill to disrupt our combo. Otherwise, as I mentioned in the intro, we are playing all snow-covered planes so we can play on thin ice because uh, it's way cheaper to buy 20 snow-covered planes and 4 on thin ice than it is to buy a playset of Path to Exile. So this is just purely a budget choice. Uh, if you have Path to Exiles, there's no real other reason to play snow-covered basics in this deck. So if you already have Path to Exiles, you can play Path, you can play normal basics, but if you're putting this deck together, it actually saves you money to buy on thin ice with snow-covered basics compared to buying Path to Exile. And Anthony Ice, not quite as good as Path to Exile, uh, but it is very powerful. It's only one mana. I think if you have 20 snow-covered basics in your deck, it's the new best budget version of Path to Exile we have in the format. Mana base, as I mentioned, 20 snow-covered planes, couple of Ghost Quarters for Tron. Sideboard, we have a playset of Phyrexian Unlife, which is just a, a lock, essentially, with Solemnity. If we have Unlife and Solemnity, opponent can't kill us with damage because we can't get count and all damage would be dealt in infect counters thanks to Phyrexian Unlife. So against some decks, this is just a hard lock. If our opponent doesn't have enchantment removal and they're killing us with damage, we sideboard this in, hope to draw it, lock our opponent out of the game. Disenchant, Oblivion Ring, gets rid of stuff that can stop our combo. Uh, Stony Silence is a big one. Graveyard Hate is another one. Pithy Needle on our artifacts is annoying. So answers, plus they're just fine. Removal spells, disenchant good against like hardened scales, uh, kills opponents, alters if we run into Hogic or whatever. Tormod Script for Graveyard Hate. Pithy Needle, also good against the Hagek deck. Trust down Planeswalkers, a lot of Tron stuff. And that is Mono White Persist Combo for Modern. And that's our Budget Magic deck for this week. So, let's jump into the gameplay, see if this crazy Mono White Combo deck can actually work. Does the plan of just brute forcing into the combo pieces by playing as many copies as possible how practical is that? Like, we don't have card draw, we don't really have any tutoring or anything, so are we gonna find, like, three pieces of our combo consistently enough, just based on pure redundancy? That's what we're gonna find out today. Anyway, thanks for watching, enjoy the gameplay, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. Alright, budget magic time. We are mulliganing with Mono White Persist. This hand's much better. We need, let's see, we need a sack outlet. Uh, Thraben Inspector to the bottom. We have our Persist Creature. We have a Solemnity. So we need a Altar or a Blasting Station to go infinite. Temple Garden for our opponent. Untapped. And Ether Vial. Well, 
Snow Covered Plains and Thraben Inspector. Get a clue, pass the turn. I guess we can stop this Ether Vial from ticking up eventually with Solemnity. Bonnet. Probably a Death and Taxes deck, I would assume. Vials in. Or humans? Is it. Oh, it's humans, okay. Well, Solemnity can be good against humans too. Plays a land. And. Cracks a land. Hollowed Fountain. Untapped down to 14. Champion of the Parish Part 2. Alright, that's many champions. Oh no, three? Noble High Arc. Okay, well, opponent's off to the races, and our Slimini, uh, a smidge late. Being on the draw here, opponent passes. Ghost Quarter. Well, Snow Covered Plains on Thin Ice. Get rid of Champion of the Parish. Pass the turn. Oh, we'll see. Solemnity is good, but our opponent might already have big creatures. I guess the other upside is it does kind of make our Kitchen Finks and do an infinite blocker while we're waiting for a sack outlet to win. Vile's in. Oh, boy. Unsettled Mariner. Well, that's not too bad because we're not targeting our opponent's stuff too much. Hopefully there's not a good follow-up. Thalia's Lieutenant would be very scary here. Tapping, untapping, two cards in hand. Meddling Mage. Well, it seems unlikely our opponent's going to blind name the cards in our deck. Path Exile. Well, that's not in our deck. So opponent grows the champion. One card in hand goes to combat. Attacks for five. So we're going to take five this turn. Down to 15. We untap. Snow Covered Plains. Play Solemnity. Pass the turn. Ooh, is this enough? Kitchen Finks gains us life. If we draw Altar, we just win next turn. That's our best draw. Because then we can Lesser Manticore, Altar, just immediately win. Cavern of Souls. Still one card in hand. Untapped. What do you got, opponent? What's the last card? Opponent, combat. Attacks for eight. So we will just block with Raven Inspector. Go to 11. Opponent, passing. Now play the Ghost Quarter. Kitchen Finks. Up to 13. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Vile staying on two. This does shut down our opponent's offense. Because Kitchen Finks keeps coming back. Ooh, Reflector Mage. That might be deadly. That's exactly what our opponent needed. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that kills us. Gets in for eight. Oh, so close. Yeah. Down to five. Well, come on, Alter. That's what we need to draw. Opponent tanking for some reason. Passes. Oh, face shield. Huh, and I think we're out of possibilities. We can crack our clue. On thin ice, die. Hmm. Yeah, that reflector mage got us. Well, we are one. We were one piece away. We just never found a sack outlet, and our opponent had a a pretty pretty good human sand. So, um, hmm, do we want to change anything? Needle disenchant. They probably have Knight of Autumns. Maybe just go up Oblivion Rings, go down Face Shield, run it like that. <clears throat> we get to be on the play for game number two. Well, all right. We got Persist Creatures, but we need Sack Outlet and a Solemnity Effect. We do get a redraw with Thraben Inspector, but Thraben Inspector, go. Opponent. I think we would have won last one if there wasn't a Reflector Mage. At least we very well might have. Opponent. Wow. Passing. Interesting. Interesting technique. Uh, Did our opponent keep a Zero Lander? Discards Unsettled Mariner. Well, play Snow Covered Plains. Play Safe Old Elite. Gonna combat. Get in. Hit our opponent. So, let's see. Blasting Station. Solemnity off the top. That's what we want. Opponent. Wow. They must have... They must have kept a Ether Vial hand. I really... I don't know. It is hard to imagine a Zero Lander that's keepable, no matter what you have. Okay, this has all the pieces. We're a land short, but we have Anafenza, Kitchen Fing's Blasting Station. That is the combo. Temple Garden, untapped. And there's the Ether Vial. Mm hmm. Opponent passes. Eh, that's not a land. Play Snow Covered Plains, pass the turn. Opponent, taking up the vial. 
Sure. Well, come on, land! At least one. Angel Zigger out for our opponent. And Ether Vial number two. Opponent might be a little action light. Opponent passing. Well, play the land. Play Anafenza. Altar of Dementia is fine. It's another blasting station, essentially. We do need land number three with this hand to be able to combo. Opponent Vial. Taken up. Taken up. Yup. And Meddling Mage. Okay. What do they name? Solemnity. Well, we don't actually have Solemnity at the moment. Opponent passing. Not a land. So we will Altar of Dementia. Pass the turn. No attacks. Oh, come on, land. We have so many three drops. So many good three drops. Opponent. All right, no vials. They must have all three drops in hand. Oh, come on, land. That would make us so happy, opponent. Vials, two and three, and meddling mage. Names on thin ice. All right, they're cutting off our, our removal. Oh, we need a land. We need a land, opponent. Passing. That's a land. Opponent vials in. Sin collector. I think that's game. I think that's game. Unless they have a two mana play that disrupts us or surgical extraction that should do it. That's a whiff. We don't have any spells. I think this is it. I don't know what they can vial in for two. Maybe there's something. I guess they could vial in Phantasmal Image on Meddling Mage named Kitchen Finks. All right, Snow Cover Plains. Kitchen Finks. Gain some life. Is it over? Do we get him? So counter on Anafenza. We gain life. We pass the turn. And turn four? Turn four, mono white persist? We would like our opponent to activate Ether Vial. Otherwise, we'll go for the combo end step. See if our opponent activates Vial. Because if they tap Vial, then literally the only thing that can beat us is Surgical. I can't think of a two drop human that's going to ruin our plan here. I guess they could have like Collector Oof in their sideboard. That would do it temporarily. This deck's kind of working. Infinite life, infinite mill, infinite pretty much everything. Opponents in the tank. I don't know if this means they have an answer and they're trying to figure out how to use it or if they know they're <laughs> dead to the jank and a little salty. Hard to tell sometimes. All right, uh, so we pass. Uh, all right, let's go for it. So catch a fake, sack it, mill, returns bolsters and a pulse scoops it up and we just keep persisting and the combo's a little janky but there's so much redundancy that we actually draw into it pretty regularly that's probably the most impressive part is we just uh, it's so funny mono white is not your typical combo color but we kind of just brute force it we play so many combo pieces that we're going to draw them, like, by default, just because we have so many of them, and it's been working. It's been working. Taking down humans. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some mono-white persist combo in modern, and, I mean, we're going to keep this. We have all of our combo pieces. We just need lands. That's all we're missing to combo off is lands, so give it a shot. Snow Cover Plains Thrabes. If we draw one land, we can crack the clue to hopefully draw more. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Sliver Hive. All right. We're getting slivered. Opponent. Yell Rider. Sliver. Oh, come on, land. Come on, sweet, sweet land. Not a land. Hmm. All right. Maybe we were greedy. Maybe. Maybe just a smidge on the greedy side. Hit our opponent for one. Uh, opponent. Uh, opponent. Hello. Takes the one. Well, we will pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Plays a Cavern of Souls. Untapped on Sliver. Plays Cloud Shredder Sliver. Uh, opponent combat. It's in for two. All right, we're down to 18. And let's see if we can draw a land. That would be sweet. Well, technically that's land. 
how do we want to do this? Oh, this is scary. All right. Let's play it safe. On thin ice. Get rid of Cloud Shredder. We would rather be playing combo pieces, but get in with Thrabes. Opponent down to 18. Untaps. Verdant Catacombs. Sentinel's Liver. Mm-hmm. Opponent. Combat. Attacks. Well, this would be a nice turn to just draw land naturally. That would be our best draw. Opponent hits us. That is a land. All right, so we will play... I mean, we're going to play Solemnity because this means if we just draw a land and our opponent doesn't have interaction, we just win the game next turn. Lesser Manticore, Altar of Dementia, Infinite Mill, game over. I mean, that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the goal. We'll see if it works. If we don't draw a land, then we got to figure out what our plan is. Munivault for our opponent. Collected Company. Okay. Land... Well, let's see what they hit. Cloud Shredder. All right, this is it. If we hit a land, we win. If we hit a land, we win. If we don't hit a land, we lose. That is exactly what's happening. Opponent gets in three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Well, I mean, this is the draw. Odds are not bad that we win the game here. We will see. Opponent passes. We draw. It's a land. Okay, that's game. So we play Lesser Manticore, discarding Blasting Station. We play Altar of Dementia, and that be Infinite Mill. So mill our opponent, Sagmanticore, comes back. No counter. Sagmanticore, and eh, we might as well auto-yield to this. Yep, yep. And we do this till our opponent's deck is empty, and that is, uh, that is a game. We missed a land drop, but the Magic Gods came through. Unless our opponent's, like, slow-rolling something. Like, surgical. This just does it. Mill you, mill you. Uh, I say we will mill you. We also get to see our opponent's whole deck. Mill you. This is actually one of the easier combos to click through. It goes pretty quick. Opponent sees what is happening, and that's Mono White persists, taking down the Sliverinos. All right, opponent's on Slivers. Harmonic Sliver seems like a likely sideboard option. What do we want to do? Harmonic Sliver means our unlife plan isn't that good. You know what? I think we just... All right, bring in one on life and basically just run it back. I mean, that's the plan. We just have... This deck is funny because we don't really have car... Ugh. Huh, huh. Our, our lands don't even match. Oh, I'm so sad. Eh, we get a mulligan. This deck is funny because we just have redundant combo pieces. We don't have really much card selection. We just have a bunch of redundant combo pieces, and we hope that's enough. Well, we got redundant combo pieces. Opponent. Verdant. Passes. Well, Snow Covered Plains, go. So we have Anafenza, also Solemnities, Altar of Dimension, Kitchen Fangs. That is all we need to theoretically win the game. Over on Tomb for our opponent. Sliver Hive. And Diffusion Sliver. Well, joke's on you, Slivers. We weren't planning on targeting your stuff anyway. I'll play a land, play Anafenza. We would like a land, that would be nice. Actually, land would be great. Land is exactly, exactly what we're hoping for. Opponent, Cavern of Souls. And Sedge Sliver. All right, pumping the dorks. Opponent, combat, attacks. Yeah, we'll take it. Come on, land. Opponent passes. Huh. Well, play safe old elite. I mean, if we're not going to draw land, safe old elite is actually good. So Anafenza, counter on, eh, I guess Anafenza, pass the turn. Well, I mean, we got the setup. We didn't hit our land, but if nothing goes wrong here, untap Altar of Dementia, Infinite Mill, win the game. <laughs> Urborg for our opponent, everything's a swamp. Let's see a Coco, how about a Coco? Opponent, combat, attacks. Well, we get a free block. Save full elite on the Fusion Sliver. Opponent regenerates. Sure. So, say full delete dies. Returns to play. Gets a counter. And? Okay, game! We got him! <laughs> okay! I mean, they could have surgical in hand. That would beat us. Otherwise, we really do have him. Opponent passes. Well, we will play Altar of Dementia. 
sack safefold, get back safefold, mill, sack, sack, and we will sack. <laughs> we got him! Oh, this is working. Uh huh, sack it, mill you, and we'll sack it and mill you. Watch them have like a random emergle. That would make me sad. Sack it, mill you! Wow, mono white persist combo. And opponent scoops it up? Okay. <laughs> that is pretty much how we hoped this would go. Uh, yeah. Those were pretty legitimately fast kills. <laughs> ah, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. It's janky, but somewhat effective, apparently. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing Mono White Persist, and we're going to keep this. We're missing a Persist creature, but... The good news is we have more persist creatures than any other combo piece. And we have Solemnity. We have Altar of Dementia. So that's all we're lacking. Mountain for our opponent and passes. Oh, on thin ice. Uh, snow covered plains. Get down. Altar. Pass the turn. Well, come on, persist creature. Forest for our opponent. And passes. Well, snow covered plains. Solemnity. Pass the turn. All right. I mean, if we draw a persist creature, we just win. We have the combo all set up. We have 12 in our deck. Kitchen Finks, uh, Lesser Manticore, and Pona scoops it up. They're just done. They're done. They're done. They do not want a piece of that. Good news because, well, one, two, three turns, and we would have had it. Uh, all right. The bad news is we don't really know what our opponent's doing. Like at all. Even a little. Uh, I'm going to say we go up to Phyrexian Unlifes. Go down the two face shields, run it like that. In the dark, that's the best we can do. Uh, this hand... Okay, this hand's fine. We have everything except a Solemnity effect. And we have Thraben Inspector for a redraw. Four is four, our opponent. Arbor Elf. All right, maybe our opponent's Ponzaing. Well, Snow-Covered Plains and Thraben Inspector. Get a clue. Pass the turn. Opponent. Mountain. Untaps. And what have I got? Trinosphere. All right. That is annoying. Uh, land, get in with Raven Inspector. If they start blowing up our lands, we're in a a bit of trouble. Because we're not hitting our land drops. Opponent, land, and. All right. That is land destruction. Ooh, not a land. Uh-oh. Opponent, combat, attacks. Oh, boy. Okay. And our opponent, discard Altar of Dementia. Hmm. Opponent. Combat. <laughs> Gets in. Hits us. Uh, Getting with Thraben Inspector. Well, this isn't good. Trinosphere plus land destruction. Kind of sticking it to us. Opponent. Land. Um, alright. Stone Rain. Gets in. Well, we did draw land. Sadly, we need to draw two more before we can even cast anything. Opponent. Land. And that does it. Okay, well, we know what our opponent's doing. Um, We're probably going to have to take out Omthin Ices, actually. That puts us very light on removal, but I think we just have to try to combo. Um, Because Omthin Ice gets blown up by land destruction, so I just don't think we can take that chance. So Face Shield's back in, and I guess Pithing Needles. Can name Arbor Elf, can also name Chandra. All right, we get to play first. Okay. Well, this hand's a bit light on combo pieces. Snow-covered plains, Thraben Inspector. We have Persist Creature, but that's it. Our last hand was super good. We just didn't have the lands to really do anything for us for our opponent. There is everyone's favorite Arbor Elf. Well, Snow-covered plains, get in with Thraben Inspector. Hit our opponent. Down to 19. Do they have their land destruction? Mountain. Taps, untaps. Stone Rain. Well, Saga Clue, draw a card. Yup. Opponent, passing. Well, play the land. Get in with Raven Inspector. Play Lesser Manticore. Discard Unlife. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. And Trinosphere. Okay. Trinosphere doesn't do too much here. Opponent, passing. I'll play a land. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent down to 15. Kitchen Finks. I mean, maybe we can just get the 
the beatdown win. We're not drawing combo pieces, but we are beating down. Opponent untaps. What do you got? Lesser Manticore can take down Arbor Elf next turn, potentially. Opponent tapping, untapping. Oh, Acidic Slime. Really? Okay. Acidic Slime blows up a land. That's slowing us down a smidge. Opponent passes. I'll play the land. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Opponent. Gonna block Kitchen Finks. We get back Kitchen Finks. If our opponent can go land Inferno Titan, we're probably still dead. That's what we gotta try to dodge. Kitchen Finks number two, pass the turn. Opponent untaps. No Inferno Titans, please. If we untap here, we get to kill the Arbor Elf and then life gets better. Opponent taps, untaps. Ugh, another Acidic Slime. Blows up our land, so we still can't kill the Arbor Elf. I'll play the Snow Covered Plains. Go to combat, attack. Opponent. Ooh, who? One, two, three, four, five, six. Take seven. Down to six. Kitchen Finks number three. Pass the turn. No Inferno Titans. No Inferno Titans, please. Opponent adapts. Do they draw land? Blood Braid into Birds of Paradise. Do we draw land? That's also a question. I expect Inferno Titan is coming next turn. They can't cast Birds of Paradise. All right, we'll see. Opponent. Passing. What do we draw? We would love a land. That's a land. Belmasticor. Take down Arbor Elf. Combat. Swing with the crew. Opponent. Blocks. And blocks. They can't block like that or they're dead. I think we got the beatdown win. Through the Trenosphere. Opponent blocks and blocks. It goes to one. And I think here we even beat Inferno Titan and they can't cast it. And I think we got it. Monoway persist. It wasn't pretty, and we lost a lot of lands, but it was effective. And opponent scoops it up. Okay, mono white persist, keeping the winning ways going. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Whew! <laughs> the old beat now backup plan. Eh, whatever works. Whatever works. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are playing mono white persist, and this hand's great. Uh, we have all of our combo pieces. Yeah, I mean, this is this is what we want in hand. Snow-covered planes go. So this looks like a turn four win. Assuming nothing goes wrong. Opponent, what are you up to? Watery Grave. Tapped. Opponent, passing. Well, I think we just Altar of Dementia because we have redundancy for every other combo piece. Like a Thought sees, we have two Solemnities now, two two-mana persist creatures. So our opponent can't take all of our combo pieces with a thought seize waste not Ugh. okay interesting so our opponent is playing a discard deck opponent passing well snow covered planes and snow limnity pass the turn and i mean this is it if they can make us discard both of our persist creatures it could go wrong otherwise if we resolve one of those the game ends swamp for our opponent what does our opponent have Three mana. Dark deal. Oh. Wow. That is unfortunate. <laughs> okay. We drew into all lands. That's that's not good. Well, we need a persist creature. Oh. We had it. We had it and we lost it and our opponent's going off. Come on, persist creature, please. Oh, okay. That's a persist creature. Well, hello. I mean, as long as our opponent doesn't have surgical, we play Lesser Manticore, discard Blasting Station. Opponent gets to draw. Uh huh. And uh, combo time. Target our opponent, Sag Manticore, mill our opponent. And again, and again. Ooh, Teferi's Puzzle Box. And uh, that should be the whole library. No shit thief? Oh, opponent's got all kinds of miserableness going on. Is this a Narsat deck? Opponent scoops it up. And that's what we do. That's what we do. Okay, so that was pretty good. <laughs> we got him. The discard is a little bit worrisome. That is for sure. On thin ice doesn't seem great. Let's go up the disenchants and O-rings. Go down on thin ice and face shield, I think. Run it like that. <laughs> Woo! Lordy, lordy, lordy. This deck is janking about.
<laughs> Who would have thought that Mono White Persist would actually be that effective? Actually, maybe we bring in... Maybe we go two Disenchants, two O-Rings, two Frexine on Lifes. I'm not actually convinced our opponent's deck can beat a Frexine on Life since they are a uh, Demir. They can get it from our hand, but once it's on the battlefield... Yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to ship that one. Not enough lands. Eugh. All right. Only one land still, but we get... Ooh, we get to scry. And plus, opponent's probably going to wheel us at some point. Come on, lands. All right. Snow-covered planes go. Well, we definitely need lands. Uh, opponent. Swamp. And there is the Waste Knot. That's scary. And land, please. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not a land, but it's a thing we could play, Thraben Inspector. Does our opponent have, like, a dark deal or something? I guess any discard's scary with our opponent having Waste Knot. Opponent. Thawsies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well. Ah, uh, maybe we should've went to five. On the draw with the Scry. It's pretty tempting to keep it, but... Swamp for our opponent. Discovery. Gaia Reach Sanitarium, Bajookabog. Opponent, passing. Land. Ugh. All right. Well, get in with the Raven Inspector. <laughs> Pass the turn. Yeah, the whole one land draw. Not going to get it done here. Opponent. Oh, two Waste Knots. That's, that's very scary. Well, now I don't even know if a land does it. <laughs> if we ever discard a card, it's going to be very painful. Opponent passing. Oh, boy. Well, we might just help our opponent by discarding a hand size here. Get in, hit our opponent, pass the turn. All right. Looks like uh, our opponent gets to have their fun while we are horribly mana screwed. Watery Grave. Tapped or untapped, opponent? Untapped. Opponent passing. Oh, this feels like Notion Thief. Well, there's a land here on turn number five. Doing it, I guess. Uh, We will play... I don't even know. Um, I guess just Anafenza. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it. Down to 13. There's an Ocean Thief. And there's the Dark Deal. And we scoop it up. Alright. Well, uh, we didn't draw lands. That is the, the TLDR of TLDRs. <laughs> We just mulliganed into one lander, didn't draw, was it turn five we drew land number two? We're a pretty inexpensive deck. We top out at three mana. So it's not like we're asking our deck for that many lands, but we need more than one. All right. Well, we're on the play for game number two. And sooner or later, our opponent's probably not going to draw their namesake enchantment. There's only four. All right. We are on the play. His hand's got it all except the... Oh, no! What is going on this match? All right. Well, five cards go. Yes, it's been a, a smidge disappointing. Snow-covered planes go. Watery Grave. Untapped. Opponent. Passing. Well, snow-covered planes. Safe hold elite. Ouch. Spell snare. Oh, when you're starting on five on the play, that's not what you want to see. Swamp for our opponent. Thought sees. Yeah, we just got nothing. Ooh. Yeah, we were just kind of betrayed by the magic gods this game, mana-wise. Untap, draw, solemnity. Well, we'll pass the turn. Opponent. Drown catacombs. And passing. Well, pass the turn. Huh. Well, that's uh, that's the way of magic. Sometimes you just get mana screwed twice in a match. I mean, play Altar of Dementia, I guess. I don't even know. I'm assuming we just lose to, like, Notion Thief. Opponent has Negate. Oh, opponent. Counter Central. Uh, opponent. Narset. Yeah. Well, that's not going to do it. Opponent... Finds a dark deal, thought seizes. Yeah, fair enough. We'll scoop it up. Yeah, the magic gods just wouldn't let us play. Wouldn't let us play magic in that one, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to pull out the the hypergeometric calculator here. What are the odds of us running that poorly with lands? 
<laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah. What can you do? Sometimes you don't get to play magic, unfortunately. And uh, that's one of those times. Uh, I mean, I guess the good news is our deck has kind of just been crushing people. And, I mean, it's hard to look down on the deck when that happens. That's one where you just, I don't know, bow down and pray harder to the magic gods next time. <laughs> Not much you can do if you just can't cast a single spell. But, uh, all right. Next time. Next time. All right. Budget magic time. We are mono white persisting and whoo. All right. We have all of our combo pieces. We have the lands to cast them. That's pretty much what we're looking for. Persist creature. Way to make it infinite. Sack outlet. Uh, snow card planes go. Of course, our opponent could have disruption, but cavern of souls on human and ether file. Well, snow covered planes. Um, anafenza. You. Opponent. Taking up the vial. Vial number two. Eh, this looks decent. Huh. Well, snow covered planes. Lesser manticore. Discard anafenza. Grow anafenza. Combat. Attack. And I mean, infinite mill next turn for the win. Opponent down to 17. And all right, opponent. They don't have path mana. They don't have vials big enough for Reflector Mage. Yeah, I mean, okay, vials and something, sure. Champion, that's fine. Vials, one and two. Uh, opponent. Vials in. Meddling Mage. There's literally no way they can aim Altar of Dementia. Okay, Path the Exile. <laughs> Whew! If they named that, that would be the greatest Meddling Mage naming in the history of magic. Horizon Canopy. Well, technically that's path mana, although it eh, seems fairly unlikely. Opponent, combat, no attacks. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess we go for it. Ghost quarter. Um, maybe we, yeah, let's get rid of horizon canopy. Ghost quarter, horizon canopy. Opponent lets it go. Gets a planes. And yeah, alter dementia. And combo time. Sack Manticore. Mill our opponent. Get back Manticore. And uh, that should be game. Turn four. Mono White Persist. Sack Manticore. Mill you. Opponent scoops it up. Uh, easy. Easy, easy. <laughs> All right. That's what we're trying to do. That is it. Uh. Hmm. Now what? I don't even know if we change much of anything, honestly. Yeah, run it back. I mean, we are the combo deck. That is the plan. Um, yeah. All right, we got our combo pieces. We will keep it. Cavern of Souls. And the noblest of high arcs. Ponet. Passing. Well, snow-covered planes. You. Ponet. Untaps. Sea Chrome Ghost. And there's a champion. And all right, Ponet's got the lightning fast start. That's for sure. Opponent passes. We need lands. That's a land. So we will play Anafenza. Pass the turn. Horizon Canopy. Oh, uh, please no Reflector Mage. Freebooter. That doesn't actually beat us here. We have redundant combo pieces. Opponent. Do we just have them? Takes face shield. Okay. So maybe they have a. Well, who knows? Noble High, out of cards. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So if our opponent doesn't top deck, we got the win. Opponent gets in. We will take it. Down to 12. Passes. No top decks. Play the snow covered planes. Play safe full delete. Grow Anafenza. Pass the turn. All right, this is it, opponent. One turn to top deck. Meddling Mage. Path to Exile. Reflector Mage. Desperation Sack, those are the outs. Did they find them? Opponent, death is coming. Death is around the corner. I guess Graveyard Hate does it too. Can they find an answer? And scoops it up. They can't beat the combo. Mono White Persist. Roll it over, people. <laughs> Taking down the best decks. Some of the best decks in modern. Huh. All right, Mono White Persist. <laughs> it looks janky, but it kind of works. <laughs>
<laughs> Sweet. So what do we learn this week about mono white persist combo in modern and the deck kind of killed it. Uh, I am still a little bit shocked at how effective this deck was. We played five matches. We lost one to a blue-black Narset deck, and really, we kind of lost that one to ourselves. We got the old double mana screw in games two and in games three after winning game one, like mull to five, one lander, not hit a second land until turn five. So we kind of just lost to ourselves. Otherwise, we beat humans twice, we beat Ponza, we beat Slivers, and more impressive we comboed off on turn four very consistently with this deck like that we didn't really have much trouble finding our combo pieces across a not a huge sample size but we probably played what 12 13 games with the deck and we were consistently finding all of our combo pieces the combo was consistently winning the game and uh yeah just all around it was pretty impressive we might have got a little lucky to dodge some of the hate cards like surgical extraction can fizzle our combo uh graveyard hate can fizzle our combo stony's silence although again we got a bunch of answers to those cards especially after sideboarding with the dissa chats with the oblivion rings so it's not like we're drawing dead to our opponent having a hate card and we assembled the combo pretty quickly like that's the other nice part about this deck it's not like we need to wait until turn 10 to combo off we're winning on turn four pretty consistently so our opponent not only needs that sideboard hate card but they need it pretty quickly and they need us to dive our answer to their hate card so all around uh the deck was pretty effective i think we won once i believe without the combo where we just kind of like played a bunch of kinshin finks and beat down against ponza and we will take it but most of the time we're just drawing our combo assembling our combo and crushing people with our combo on turn four so yeah, I mean, I'm sure the deck could probably be improved in non-budget form. If you're non-budget form, uh, you can go in another color, you can have more card draw, you can do things like that. Uh, so there are options. You get more protection, you can play like Force of Negation or whatever. There's a lot of options if you go into a second color, but that's going to make it w maybe more expensive. So overall... I was very impressed with Mono White Persist. We beat some really legitimate decks, and our one loss came to ourselves, essentially, just to the magic gods, not giving us our second land. Uh, so, yeah, we just kind of stomped on people. Also, gotta say, I was very impressed with On Thin Ice. Uh, it is risky. We saw that in Ponza. There is a downside to using that as your budget version of Path to Exile, uh, but that downside is only in specific matchups. Like, against Ponza, we basically had to sideboard out On Thin Ice, because there's just no way we're gonna like kill your inferno titan and have you stone rain our land with on thin ice on it but there's not that much land destruction in modern especially for basic lands and there's not that many ghost quarters running around at the moment so it's kind of safe to play on thin ice as your budget path and when you don't get your land blown up it's essentially a better path. You're not giving your opponent that land. So if you're willing to take on a bit of risk, I think On Thin Ice is definitely a worthy budget replacement. So grab your snow-covered basics and go to town if you don't want to spend 40 bucks to place that on path or whatever. So overall, if you want to go infinite on a budget, this seems like a pretty legit option. Uh, it works pretty well as long as you dodge the hate cards and it's pretty fun and unique. Just like mono white combo is such a weird idea. It's not your normal combo colors by any stretch so a unique deck of fun deck and a surprisingly effective way to mill people out or infinitely damage people in the modern format so anyway that's been mono white persist that's better budget magic for this week thank you so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.